In this video, we'll discuss about cytochromes. Cyto mean cell and chrome mean colors. So these are colored pigment present in the cell. Uh, these are found in bacteria, plants and animals. They are also called as redox active proteins uh, because they are involved in uh, oxidation and reduction reactions. They are involved in respiration as well as in photosynthesis. In respiration, they are involved in electron transport chain. So these cytochromes are iron containing colored porphyrin tetrapyrroles or heme compounds which function while attached to the protein that is heme protein. Now, if we see the structure of the uh, cytochromes, they have four pyrrolic rings, A, B, C and D. Each pyrrolic ring is made up of four carbon and one nitrogen. So we can see here, this is the uh, one, two, three and four carbon and this is the nitrogen atom. So again here, we can see this is one pyrrol ring, this is another. Uh, so these are four pyrrol rings which are attached with the metal ion iron in the center. So this, this whole structure, four pyrrol ring, which are made up of four carbon and one nitrogen, then there are many other carbons. And these are, this part is side chain of these carbon which are attached here. And this part is the protein part to which it is attached, which is made up of cysteine amino acid. So this is porphyrin ring having four pyrrole rings and iron and other several carbon and nitrogen atoms and side chains. Then this is also attached with the protein also called as heme protein. So this is the structure of the cytochrome. And these cytochromes are of four types, cytochrome A, B, C and D. Cytochrome A, B, C, D, they vary depending upon their heme or prosthetic group as well as their side chains. So uh, these are different categories of cytochrome. Cytochrome A is of greenish color which can absorb, uh, if we see the spectroscopic study, they can absorb at 605 nanometer. This has heme group heme A. Then it's another category is cytochrome A3. Then cytochrome B can absorb at 565 nanometer red in color. And this has heme B prosthetic group. Then cytochrome C is of red color, 550 nanometer absorption spectra. Heme C is its, its prosthetic group. And then D, D absorb at 636 nanometer and 638 nanometer. And this will have heme D as its prosthetic group. So this is about structure of the cytochrome. Now this cytochrome, uh, they have a particular redox potential. They are involved in reduction oxidation reactions. So they can acquire electrons form or lose electron to an electrode. They may be present in a reduced or oxidized states. And we can measure this redox potential in the form of volts. Cytochromes are mainly involved in the electron transfer phenomena and they are involved in major metabolic processes that is photosynthetic process and respiration. So uh, these are found in cell organelles, uh, mitochondria and chloroplast. Cytochromes are exclusively used as electron transporters which are involved in photosynthesis as well as in respiration. Now we have seen iron is present in the center. So iron atom in cytochrome can exist in two form Fe plus 3 and Fe plus 2. Fe plus 3 is ferric iron, Fe plus 2 is ferrous iron. So we can see here when Fe plus 3 accepts electron this changes into Fe plus 2 and when this loses electron this changes into Fe plus 3. So this is called as ferrous and ferric state. So when an electron is transferred from one cytochrome to another, uh, this may have a different redox potential and during that process like if we see here this is one compound this is uh, another compound and when electron is being released right so there may be the energy difference and that energy is released and that can be used for the production of ATP. So ATP is produced from ADP and inorganic phosphate. ADP is adenosine diphosphate. ATP is adenosine triphosphate also called as energy currency of a cell. This is being produced inside the mitochondria and then this will help in production of ATP. So when this from one compound electron is being transferred to another compound. So energy is released that energy is stored in the form of ATP. And during the aerobic or cellular respiration, 
two cytochrome, cytochrome A and cytochrome A3 are involved in terminal oxidation. During that process from cytochrome A3, electrons they are passed to oxygen. So oxygen can react with hydrogen ions and this will form water molecules. Uh, they collaborate with each other. So enzyme involved is cytochrome oxidase, which also has copper as its component, also called as terminal respiratory oxygen uh, reductases. So these are involved in reduction process and this will help in formation of ATP, which is also called as energy currency of a cell. So these are involved in electron transfer phenomena, iron containing protein, and they are also involved in photosynthesis. And in the respiratory, uh, uh, respiratory process, they are involved in uh, formation of ATP. So this is called as oxidative phosphorylation means synthesis of ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate. In presence of oxygen, this is called as oxidative phosphorylation. They also play an important role in the photosynthetic phenomena. So this is all about cytochromes, which are also called as iron containing protein because they are present in cell and they are having color. So they are, we can say these are the colored pigment which are involved in electron transport chain or help in electron transfer and formation of ATP. So this is all about cytochrome. Thank you for watching it. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe.